my latest wing set. Today, I'll show you how to build one of these from scratch. I'm Dennis. Thanks for watching. We use half inch galvanized steel conduit for the shaft and arms. Maker pipe five way fitting made this build easy. 15 millimeters from the end of each arm, drill a five millimeter hole. On one end of the pipe, the hole should be vertical and on the other, horizontal. 3D files available free at twirlything.com. The wing attachment section, the wing fill section, and the attachment point spindles are all part of this assembly. Wing attachment section, the wing bottom hull area acts as a Savonius providing low speed startup rotation. Wing filler section has the same profile. Attachment point spindle allows for printing without supports. 3D parts assembly. First we'll rough up the mating surfaces of the wing and spindle with sandpaper. Next we'll align the spindle so that the holes are perpendicular to the wing. Acetone bonds ASA filament together exceedingly well. Pick up acetone from the hardware store or the pharmacy. You only need a little bit of this acetone. Be careful not to get it on your skin. I should be wearing gloves here. Cotton swabs are great applicators for acetone. You want to put a good coat of acetone on the part. Be careful too much and your part may warp. Hold it for a few seconds. Then don't touch or bump it for at least five minutes. Make sure the holes are aligned. The 3D pen is an especially fun part of this build. It fills and essentially welds the material, adding strength to the parts. All the tools, materials, and 3D files are available at twirlything.com. It's questionable that these printed parts have the strength on their own to withstand the lift forces in the wind at high rotation. A pair of 14 gauge galvanized wire truss rods strengthens each wing. Okay, let's do a test fit. For this design, we're using three wing attachment points and two wing fills. Let's add the fills. It's like putting together a puzzle without the frustration. You end up putting together, taking apart, and then putting together again, over and over again, till all steps are complete. It will be important in the next steps to get this all correct now. We want to rough up the surfaces to be mated. Use a heavy grit sandpaper on a flat surface. The acetone will melt all the scuffs and powdery material together in an incredibly strong bond with ASA. Use a cotton swab to paint the acetone onto the mating surfaces. Use a 36 inch clamp to hold the parts in place while they bond. Okay, let's add another section. Mate and clamp. Be careful putting these sections together. Proper alignment will improve wing performance. It helps to paint the seams with acetone. It can smooth the surfaces. Okay, let's add the final section. You know the drill by now. Paint, mate, and clamp. Oops, lucky you didn't do much harm. Well, be careful with your clamps. Time for more acetone. Paint the seams. It'll soften them up for the next step. I like to give the wings at least a half an hour to cure. Then, we twist the truss rods together. Our goal is to take up slack in the rods, but do not over tighten. You risk breaking rods. Restringing can be a challenge after final assembly. Okay, repeat on the other side. And we'll get rid of that leftover wire. Cut the ends and fold over to the inside of the wing. It's 3D pen time again. We'll use it to fill any gaps in the seams. It's like a little plastic welder and a lot of fun. I'm sure there must be a way to design these parts so they would join together without any gaps. That talent has eluded me. In the meantime, these handy 3D pens are great. They can fix and fill all manner of defect in design. I'm using a sanding drum on a Dremel. This makes quick work of cleaning up the welds. Maybe too quick. I'll use a finer grit next time. 
I did rub a small amount of acetone on a rag onto the wing seams to smooth them out before mounting outside. Showing here, drilling the receiving hole in each shaft for the spindle attachment. This image shows through bolts. Each arm has two attachment points, wing spindle and central shaft connector. This is how it looks on the bench, connected to a 400 watt alternator. Here it is on its mount. It looks great. She's spinning. You can see the cups on the inside of the wings. Let's get it started in low winds. At some point the lift portion should take over and really speed up. Hasn't happened yet, but it's a work in progress. I'll let you know how it goes. Talk to you soon.